guy act. You know, we asked him about his preparation. He said he has a great team behind him. He said he believes he's in good shape, but ultimately it is truly going to show in the pit whether that's true. And representing Budapest top team, this is the soldier, Salt Habda bringing that one and one record back to the pit after a TKO victory over Gabrielli Gerra. You know, we obviously asked him, what's it like facing a guy whose picture you've had on the wall? And he said, you know what? Because of that, there is no pressure. People do not necessarily expect me to win. Obviously, he expects himself to win. Tail of the tape for your main event here. Big difference is Zolt Habda is five inches taller than the world champion he stands across from. That, of course, translates to an advantage in the leg and the arms as well. Karate Combat Season 4 is brought to you by Manscaped, the right tools for the job. Use the code KC20 for 20% off. Just log on to manscaped.com and enter the code KC20 at checkout. Oh, and Zolt, off with the bag. Yeah, Zolt Habda in the black pants, Rafael Agaev in the white pants. Your referee for this one is Sam Amidi. Like I have seen a few kicks coming at him. I he's think not so. that worried. And when I say, you know, for his age, he's 36, right? But normally, a guy like that who's been performing his entire life, 36, everybody would say it's all. Yeah, he said it really does take an awful lot of time in training and preparation to stay consistently at that high level he, he says that's what he appreciates the most about his career you know he's been in karate 30 years and you know 25 of it or something has been spent at the, the top echelons walking him down very smart see close the distance stay close on him don't let him fire those legs and if they if he does move in yeah waiting Better to leave. see that that reverse punch of a guy it's coming i was just going to say third throw uh, he's pushed uh, Habda up against the up against the pit wall and uh, accidentally grounds his knees there. That's going to stop the action. You know, one thing that we really picked out in uh, Agaev's previous fight here at uh, Karate Combat Genesis against Dionisio Gustavo was just how fluidly he mixed in the takedowns yep. off the strikes to close the distance. They they really want the fluidity to it that you don't see all that often. You know, he, he threw a huge range of takedowns as well. You know, there was a catch with a kick, there was a drop say a nagi, there was, uh, you know, some other interesting trips and throws. Something that uh, Salt Hampton is going to have to be wary of. Ooh, he's waiting for that left one. Get a finger in the eye or something. Yeah, he's just saying he caught an errant uh, glove or finger. The referee is going to give him a moment to check this. No coaching, no coaching. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Let's take a look at the replay here, see what we can see. And yeah, there you go. Oh. Parried left hand right up into the eyes. I don't think it was deliberate, but you've got to be careful. You know, the, the karate combat gloves are designed very specially in a way that it is hard to splay your fingers upwards. But, uh, you know, accidents do happen occasionally. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we haven't seen this a lot, but it's like a push almost. He pushed him away with the palm, and yes, then the fingers are Yeah, but there is some see? damage to the to the eyes, and told Hamza says, "Are you okay?" A, a guy ever responds, "Yes, I am." Timekeeper, time But uh, yeah, you can see there's a, a little bit of a cut there, perhaps. Abdo with a lot of movement, staying on the outside. A guy I'm trying to stalk and stay forward with the pressure here. There we go, I told you, he's going to smother him. It's a smart thing to do. 
Yeah, good catch of the kick and good work from Agaya to clear the legs, but he unfortunately fell down to the side control position. That's going to negate the work to, to get the legs out of the way. Oh, he walked into that and he shakes his head. No, it's a, it didn't really hurt that much. This is where a guy wants to be. 20 seconds left in this opening round. Wow, that flew by. I really did. I looked up and uh, the time was almost over. Hadda's really got to use this range. He's got such an advantage. And wow, oh. a guy have got him flinching heavily there. The slightest twitch and, and Hadda was expecting a shot coming back at him. It's a little style of Arabov, right? What he's doing. Right, a little bit. A guy here. Yeah, a similar body type. Lure him in, lure him in, lure him in. Boom, big hand. So they head back to their corners. Some replays here and good work from Salt Hamda going to the legs. Ooh. That was a nice kick. Grabbed it though, just smothered it, so it took a little bit of the power out. Still, it's a good kick. He's got to stay on his feet for the ground and power. That's important. And I gotta say, I was surprised that the feint at the end there got such a reaction from Hamda. I mean, that's got to uh, that's got to give some motivation to uh, Agaya, right? Of course, because he knows. Uh oh, he knows I'm dangerous. You know, now he can start fainting more. Round number two. Let's go, gentlemen. Check it out. So time expires in this first rest period. We've got two more rounds coming your way. Maybe the shot that he threw when Hamda was shaking, ah, it was okay. Maybe it was harder than you, uh, than you think. Yeah. You see? So, touch the gloves, round number two, underway. Zolt Hamta with uh, more of the rhythmic movement. Very, very old school, classical karate stance for a guy of that wide base, lead leg forward. And, uh, you know, it's interesting, you would say perhaps, you know, the, the sort of the frame and the size of Habda is an advantage, but in the clinch, not really, because, you know, it automatically gives a guy some underhooks. Whoa, look oh. at that. He gently put uh, him down. Well, I think he realized that it was perhaps an illegal move halfway yeah. through as he did it. <laughs> but uh, some power there in that uh, high crotch lift from Rafael Agaev. But there you can see his awareness. Right. Right, and that's part of it, right? You're not getting lost in the moment. You know, he knows very, very clearly what's going on. And there you go, double underhooks, because he's the shorter fighter. Break. Break, work to take down. Work to take down, gentlemen, let's go. We don't see a lot of kicks, Magaya. Oh, look no, at that. Look at the power of that right to the, right to the chest. But he feels the power. Right. Oof. He really is throwing that with some intention. Oh, good shot to the That's body. A I, I, body thought he, shot. I thought he was thinking about a Haragoshi for a second there. He looks as though he was going to turn the hip across. Oh, he now suddenly left high kick. That's a surprise. Because it's almost like he sets him up, right? You saw one or two kicks now. Oh. That's a good catch of the kick, and again, capitalizing on it is a guy. He's got to watch out for the up kicks. Great job by Hubda to keep him away with the legs. A guy have really does cover distance so incredibly quickly, but at the end of the day, you know, that's the name of the game in, in most typical karate tournaments. It's, you know, Ooh. land first, cover that distance, and get to the target. Work to take. Great. Great. Rafael. Stop holding the strike, okay? Can't clinch the strike, work to take down, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. staying on the outside here. Again, it's a guy pressing forward. He's really coming behind that one big weapon of that, that huge left hand. You know, I mean, he's almost a personification of I fear not the man who has 10,000 kicks, but has one kick 10,000 times. <laughs> yeah. 
I would love to see some kicks as well, though. True, absolutely. Right? Especially because they're so high scoring under the Karate Combat rule set. You know, you gotta you gotta have the aggression. You gotta drive forward, but effective kicking followed by effective strike kicks. Plus, it sets punches up. It's the name of the game. You know, some moves like a roundhouse kick to the left is the same move almost body type wise, body movement wise as a cross. So use it. So replays here for this second round. And this was the uh, accidental illegal takedown attempt. And you see he just stops midair and gently places <laughs> him down to the ground. Down. That was so nice. <laughs> Boom. Uh, but that, that weapon, that reverse punch pass is the thing he's, uh, he's trying to rely on. Isn't the it? whole night. Yes, the whole fight. So not a huge amount uh, to pick apart in no. that second round, but you know probably most of it perhaps going in the way of uh, Rafael Agaev. I mean, winning a round is winning a round, whether it's by the smallest of margins or uh, all the biggest. Yeah, okay, he's the aggressor, he goes forward, but Habda is scoring with kicks, right? So that counts, that has to count. Waiting only for a big hand, he needs to really switch it up here. I would like to see him throw some kicks to set up a strike. You know, we asked uh, Rafael, Rafael Agaev about, uh, you know, what's it like being in the spot he's in now? And he said it's it's uh, a little bit surreal. You know, he said when they were kids, he used to have to ration their food. And being the youngest of all his siblings, his brothers would give them more of his food. Or give him more of their food. I think he might have connected with one of those punches. Oh, and Agaev a little slow to get up, perhaps. Final two minutes and 30 seconds uh, left to go in this bout here. This is the main event. Oh, see what I mean? I think he, he, he heard of it the punch before the combination. I really do. And I can't quite see that. We're going to assume he's in a standing position. or Well, the knee is actually on the opponent. So that was borderline illegal, but uh, the referee let it go. Good. Good. Yeah, do you think fatigue in the face of Zolt had there now? Fatigue also, but I, I think the punch that he landed before. Oh, that Ooh, was and he went with the right lead one. hand. Yeah, that was cool. Well, that was uh, lovely tactics from the, the Azerbaijani to mix it up there. We've been waiting for that huge reverse punch. He's smelling the victory. He's got two minutes. Yeah, the lead web. He's got to move to the sides. Yeah, couldn't circle out quick enough, and of course, you cannot go straight back as fast as someone can go straight forward. Well, maybe someone can, but most people can't. Yeah, you say both, maybe. Huge shots from a guy of here. He's got to keep himself away. Oh, he's sprawling. This needs to get broken here. I don't. This is Habda really trying to slow the pace down. He's got to be careful here. Because that, that looked a little bit desperate, perhaps. Minute and 15 seconds here. This, of course, is uh, the welterweight division. The belt currently held by the American Josh Quayhagen. Final minute of this fight and of this event. Salt Habda sucking in deep breaths as Rafael Gaev comes forward, throws everything Ooh. in these shots. He's trying to take his head off now. Oh, Ooh. huge Harai, but uh, stop, stop. just loses the grip. Again, Habda forced to try and hold on to the, the lower body to slow this one down. Two seconds. I'm going to see something. Well, I don't think it's going to be for lack of trying on a guy Ed's part. Had to trying to circle out best he can. A guy of following him around here, cutting off the uh, the pit. Again, Habda ties up. Final ten seconds, and I think Habda's going to do everything to stay on his bike here. Oh, the shot lands. A guy of follows up, but that's going to do it. This main event is done and in the books. That third and final round, uh, really no discussion as to who's going to take that one. Yep. That's going to go the way of Rafael Agaia. What happened in the earlier two rounds, we'll have to leave to the judges to decide. But Bass, your thoughts on uh, that third round as we, we see some of the replays here? Yeah, third round of scores, I must uh, all like I have. I mean, kick to the body here, but for the rest, I'm constantly with the big stride. You switch it up to the lead hand suddenly instead of the cross. That was nice. His body shots, everything was just to break something. 
big power. He got hit here on the way in by Hopner. Yeah, well, he's going to watch this back, and I think he's going to tone it down a little bit the next time. Because too much aggression is closing the distance too fast. He needs to get used to this system again, coming back from the Olympics. Right, let's head down into the pit, get the official judges' decision for this main event. He's got it. So Rafael Agaev gets the job done on his return to karate combat. Consistent over the three rounds, turned it up towards the end as the fatigue set in to Zolt Habda. He says thank you very much to the crowd and to his opponent. He's going to head up pit side, celebrate with his corner and get a few words with Leila Anna Lee. Rafael, congratulations. That wasn't except take some water. It's okay. You can drink that. I think it's only fair that we give you a moment to drink water. If I can ask you to step down the cameras just behind you. There we go. Rafael, congratulations. A brilliant fight. So awesome to see an icon like you in this pit. And he really made you work for it, though. Tell me about the meaning of this moment. Ben Evvala, bütün Mazarsan, Lindley Halgın salamlayıram. Biz ki, o birisi karate ile bu karate ile fark soktu. Dört yıl aradan sonra tezden kayıttım. Ve meşk ayrı, dövüş başka şeydi. Ve üzerimde çok şey işleyeceğim ve galip geleceğim. Ben öz, yani rakibim, kabara çok sol demek istedim. Gözel dövüşsün. It was absolutely beautiful is the right word. It was brilliant to watch. What next for you? Gələcək heç nə. Bu qalibiyyəti bu günlər düşünüb, sabahdan umudub, təzdən məşlərimi davam edib, gələn döyüşə hazır olmalıyam. Bundan da yaxşı. You start from zero, but for the rest of the division, you're quite a threat. Your opponent had the picture of you on his wall as he grew up. Ahead of the fight, you said my heart almost bleeds for him. How does someone beat a man like Rafael Agaya? Bu gözəl hissi, amma söz verirəm ki, mənim də öz otağımda Habda ilə bir şəkilmə olacaq. I love that. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Rafael Agaya. So, for the final time this season, let's head down pit side and get some reactions from Robin Black. Yeah, I mean, that was absolutely wonderful. There are so many layers to what is greatness in martial artistry. Thank you, sir. There are so many layers that define greatness. And one of them is the ability to get better and better as the fight goes on. You gain more information and you imprint threats on your opponent. A guy have imprinted the threat of the reverse punch so much that it opened up the lead hand later in that third round. But that barely scratches the surface. That was genius and we appreciate it greatly. So, Bas, let's take one last look back at the highlights uh, overall from that main event. Give us your closing thoughts on the return of Rafael Agaya. I think he did great. I think he's going to work on a lot of stuff because we didn't see him kick pretty much not at all. I would love to see that. I would like to have him fake something so his opponent throws something and then go in for that kill. Um, yeah, I would love to see him a little bit more well-rounded. To be honest, yeah. So you know, it's a, it's a, a newer rule, newer rule set for him. Uh, there's stuff to work on, you know. That's it. You know, this is how you look. This is very much Atomov like, right? right? Also, great takedowns, great punches, great striking power. Everything's great. I'm not saying anything bad, but I'm just saying if he adds some kicks to it, he will make me very happy. Well, you know what? I'm going to pick up on your Atomov reference there and we'll circle back and think about some of the good things that have happened throughout these first three episodes of season four of Karate.